Hi, this is John Celestri, and uh, I'm going to put a little banner on here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show this one here. Do, 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 do. Oh, I can put one up there. Anyway, so uh, good morning. The um, We're talking about what are outlier comics. Well, first, um, my name is John Celestri. I am a 50-year uh, veteran of comic books and animation, and uh, I've worked on uh, many different shows. Worked on um, He-Man and she back in the day. Uh, animated on a Bob Boba Fett in a Star Wars Holiday Special. I animated on uh, Dragon's Lair and Space Ace, and. Um, a lot of other commercials and uh, TV shows. So um, the thing about my topic today is, you know, I want to talk about being an outlier and being a maverick. Uh, I'm also uh, launching my, my uh, Bloodwing Fire Fist Angel comic, you know, the trade paperback, uh, on Kickstarter today, and. Uh, and uh, I'll be putting that up uh, a little later on and uh, so that we can see, you know, if there's any kind of activity. Um, anyway, the idea is what is uh, what is an outlier and uh, what is a maverick? Um, well, the definition of an outlier is a person or thing that is that is different from or in a position away from others in the group that is that's the uh you know the, the webster dictionary definition but um the thing about being a maverick is um you know are are you one of the crowd are you uh, are you in an independent a person someone with an unusual opinion anyway um the, one of the things I was doing is um, back in the day, I was uh, considered a maverick. Probably still am. But the first time I was branded with that title, Maverick, it was by uh, John Pomeroy at uh, the Don Bluth Studios when I was animating on um, uh, Dragon's Lair and Space Ace. Um, it was hoped. You know they they were he John John Pomeroy was one of the principals of uh, the Bluth Studios and they were they were hoping to uh, be able to take my uh, my energy and as a, as a maverick but conform it to the studio style a very different style of animation but no matter how I drew and even though I was right on model or just the energy I I, I I exuded. Um, and I always stood out from uh, from everybody else, and so eventually I I just left. And uh, I've been an, a, a maverick, or an, uh, in other words, an outlier ever since. I just don't want to fit in to what's out there. Um, anyway, I'm proud of it, and uh, so you know if you're gonna if if you're someone who looks for superhero comics that's uh, I'm just not gonna be there uh I've done it um you know i i I went through my phase of wanting to do superhero books back back in the day but um not what I do now um uh, my work isn't going to be for you really. But I'm an alternative creator, and uh, I like to be quirky and different, uh, but in a way that's familiar. Now, what, 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 how can I be both? Let's say I've tried to touch on universal truths, but give them a unique twist. And that's what's, what it's all about. Uh, you can, if you can say something, that is that's that can touch um you know the reader uh but do it 
that's not following the crowd. Um, do it with uh, with with a with a different twist. I mean, there are things that we can touch on that we could talk about that's not usually talked about. Or have stories that are are different from from um, you know just the usual universe. You know, the universe is being uh, destroyed, or somebody, some superhero, some monster is going to create, you know, uh, going to take over the world, and so on and so forth. Well, that's been done to death. So I look at a point of view of, you know, being a, uh, doing a, a crowdfunder of comic books. I'm not going to do something that's already been done. It doesn't make sense because being a, 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 creating a comic book that's just going to follow the crowd as independents you know not going to have the money to do that you don't have the 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 the, the reach and um, so do something different and so that's my point um try and do something that's familiar but give it a unique twist to it so anyway uh, in pay, case in point is uh, Bloodwing Angel Fire Fist. Um, in this case, uh, the, my series is Michael feels betray, he's been betrayed by 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 a god that she's worshipped and faithfully obeyed. And um, my feeling is, who else? You know, who among you, at some point, hasn't felt that way? So I'm gonna. Switch over to the um, the uh, the Kickstarter, and I'm going to add that to the stream, and we can see what's going on there. So let's see if it's uh, we're there. You go. Um, we're doing pretty well. We just started up and. Uh, we're at uh, $118 out of the goal of 500 bucks. So I want to thank those who have already started started me off with a uh, you know a really good start and uh I kind of like that. Yeah. So it's uh we've got a total of 30 days and 29 days left to go on on the play, on this uh this campaign um the um the artwork has already been done you know i <clears throat> i've made uh i had, had done done it in color but i i wanted to do this as a uh, as a trade paperback and as a digest form uh which is about a eight and a half by five and a half uh size um and it works out pretty much. Let me just um, put pump this up here to uh, comic book side. Let me just hold on a second. Let me switch over here to this for a second. That's the size of of what a uh, you know book would be. As digest size, so I kind of figured, yeah, that that's good, and to do it as a trade paperback, that allows me to uh, in black and white, it actually allows you know it to be reasonably priced for printing, and then offering it in uh, for uh, you know for for the Kickstarter, I. I'll just say that um, we'll just go carry on with this just for a second here. Okay. Um, done a cover for it. The art, as I said, the artwork is all done. Um, and um, but I originally did this as a you know as a as a web comic, and I did it in black and white and i felt that it really worked better 
you know, as a, as a black and night, uh, black and white, it has more of a noir feel to it than doing it as a, as a color book. Anyway, the uh, the idea of uh, if you if, if you don't know about Bloodwing Angel, um, in this case, um, the God of Light and Prince of Darkness have uh, are bored and have decided to play a cosmic game of chess. Instead of using a human like you or I, they settle on choosing Michael, the youngest young angel in existence, as their pawn to play with. And uh, you know they go back. They, you know, it, it's based on the Book of Job, and um, I kind of felt, well, uh, let me let me try, let me work with that. Uh, to to the gods, it's just a game to see how this innocent angel can influence mortals. They haven't decided how long this game will go on for, but uh, this poor angel is thrust out of the safety of paradise into the cold, cruel, cruel world of mortals. And um, you know, in in doing in so doing, uh, the creator breaks the promise to angels: obey my rules, and you will always be safe. That action momentarily tears the fabric of the universe, ripping it apart and then snaps it back together, but in a way that changes everything. Now what is right, now what is wrong? Michael must develop a new moral compass. So again, it's a, this here is a 64-page book. This is the first book in a, in a whole series of them that have already been done and, and uh, you know, uh, written and drawn. Um, it's a perfect bound trade paperback, and with the color back, back and forth, uh, uh, front and front and back covers, and and then it's ready to go to the printer. And so that's the only thing I need is your financial support to do that. That'd be great. So anyway, um, I made it very simple. The uh, the the process of uh, of what the various pledges I made it very simple. I've got a uh, a PDF, the Ethereal edition, for five dollars or more. I'm only doing it for I'm I'm doing it for anybody who really can't afford, you know, a uh, a, a, you know, a a hardcover. Also, in, internationally. I can't ship. It is too crazy now to ship across the seas. I just don't have, you know, the the capacity. It's just too expensive. So PDFs are for anyone outside of the U.S. that wants it. the uh, The first pledge is, um, well, that's the first pledge. The second pledge is for ten dollars plus shipping, and it's a. It's, as I said, it's a full color. It's a 64-page digest, and um, it's it's back. It's shipping only to the U.S. And uh, for the uh, for the 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 last the third uh, perk is uh, for twenty dollars. Uh, it's it's a hardcover plus the angel, uh, the uh, Bloodwing Angel uh, Angel Flight Pin, and you can see the sizing of it there. You know, it's uh, it's pretty good. It's a pretty nice size pin, and uh, so for twenty bucks plus shipping, you know, you get that. So I'm trying to make it real simple. I'm I'm just, I'm not trying to raise a ton of money. I would rather have, uh, you know, readers for this book, for this story. I think it's a good story, and um, it's not your usual. You know, superhero. I mean, <clears throat> Michael has all. There is a lot of story to tell. Uh, Michael winds up being part of a. Uh, you know, he, he gets in, into a neighborhood of very unsavory characters, and uh, being both male and female in semi-human form, in human form, uh, there's a ton of story to tell from both sides from both being male and for female so 
the um, I was looking to see if there were any comments and if there's anybody looking out there and um, that's fine. Um, there's nothing going on here. So the um, the idea is again, let I'm 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 feeling that with a with with a comic that's with a, with a with a Kickstarter and with a crowdfunder, take chances and just do what you want to do. Don't follow the crowd. And uh, so anyway, um, I just wanted to, to have a have a little quick uh, show and to uh, get people notified people that that we are live on on Kickstarter. And um, so thank you very much for showing up. Um, I'd like to have another chat next week sometime i'll be probably doing some drawings and uh, so until next time take care thanks a lot bye